Complete Data Communication course from basic to advanced introduction to data communications communication involves sharing information, which can be local or remote. Local communication is face-to-face, -face, while remote communication occurs over a distance, encompassing telecommunication methods like telephony, telegraphy, and television. Tele is Greek for far. The term data refers to information agreed upon by parties creating and using it. Data communications involve exchanging data between devices through a transmission medium, such as a wire cable. This requires a communication system comprising hardware and software. The effectiveness of a data communication system relies on four key characteristics, delivery, accuracy, timeliness, and jitter. Delivery. Data must reach the correct destination, received only by the intended device or user. Accuracy. The system must deliver data accurately to prevent unusable altered information. Timeliness. Data must be delivered promptly, especially in real-time transmission for video and audio. Jitter. Jitter refers to the uneven variation in packet arrival time, causing uneven quality in audio or video when delays differ. For example, if video packets are sent every 30 milliseconds, uneven delays, e.g., 30 milliseconds and 40 milliseconds, result in video quality issues. Components A data communication system has five components. One message. The message is the information data to be communicated. Popular forms of information include text, numbers, pictures, audio, and video. Two sender. The sender is the device that sends the data message. It can be a computer, workstation, telephone handset, video camera, and so on. Three receiver. The receiver is the device that receives the message. It can be a computer, workstation, telephone handset, television, and so on. 4. Transmission medium. The transmission medium is the physical path by which message travels from sender to receiver. Some examples of transmission media include twisted pair wire, coaxial cable, fiber optic cable, and radio waves. 5. Protocol. A protocol is a set of rules that govern data communications. It represents an agreement between the communicating devices. Without a protocol, two devices may be connected but not communicating, just as a person speaking French cannot be understood by a person who speaks only Japanese. Data representation information today comes in different forms such as text, numbers, images, audio and video. Text. In data communications, text is represented as a bit pattern, a sequence of bits, 0 or 1. Different sets of bit patterns have been designed to represent text symbols. Each set is called a code, and the process of representing symbols is called coding. Today, the prevalent coding system is called Unicode, which uses 32 bits to represent a symbol or character used in any language in the world. The American Standard Code for Information Interchange, ASCII, developed some decades ago in the United States. Numbers Numbers are also represented by bit patterns. However, a code such as ASCII is not used to represent numbers. The number is directly converted to a binary number to simplify mathematical operations. Images. Images are also represented by bit patterns. In its simplest form, an image is composed of a matrix of pixels, picture elements, where each pixel is a small dot. The size of the pixel depends on the resolution. For example, an image can be divided into 1,000 pixels or 10,000 pixels. In the second case, there is a better representation of the image, better resolution, but more memory is needed to store the image. After an image is divided into pixels, each pixel is assigned a bit pattern. The size and the value of the pattern depends on the image. For an image made of only black and white dots, e.g., a chessboard, a i-bit pattern is enough to represent a pixel. If an image is not made of pure white and pure black pixels, you can increase the size of the bit pattern to include grayscale. For example, to show four levels of grayscale, you can use two-bit patterns. A black pixel can be represented by OO, 
a dark gray pixel by 01, a light gray pixel by 10, and a white pixel by 11. There are several methods to represent color images. One method is called RGB, so called because each color is made of a combination of three primary colors, red, green, and blue. The intensity of each color is measured, and a bit pattern is assigned to it. Another method is called YCM, in which a color is made of a combination of three other primary colors, yellow, cyan, and magenta. Audio audio refers to the recording or broadcasting of sound or music. Audio is by nature different from text, numbers, or images. It is continuous, not discrete. Even when we use a microphone to change voice or music to an electric signal, we create a continuous signal. Video video refers to the recording or broadcasting of a picture or movie. Video can either be produced as a continuous entity, e.g., by a TV camera, or it can be a combination of images, each a discrete entity, arranged to convey the idea of motion. Communication between devices can take different forms, classified as simplex, half-duplex, or full-duplex. Simplex. In simplex mode, communication is unidirectional, to a one-way street. One device can only transmit while the other can only receive. Examples include keyboards and traditional monitors, where the entire channel capacity is utilized for one-way data transmission. Half-duplex. Half-duplex allows each station to both transmit and receive, but not simultaneously. For example, road where traffic can flow in both directions, but at any given time, one device is transmitting, and the other is receiving. Walkie-talkies, walkie-talkies, refer to handheld portable two-way radio communication devices. These devices are designed for short-distance wireless communication and are commonly used in situations where instant and direct communication is essential. Walkie-talkies are popular in various settings, including outdoor activities, security operations, construction sites, and events. Operate in half-duplex mode suitable when communication in both directions isn't required simultaneously. Full duplex. Full duplex, also known as duplex, enables both stations to transmit and receive simultaneously. This mode is comparable to a two-way street where traffic flows in both directions concurrently. Full duplex communication is common in telephone networks, allowing two-way communication where both parties can talk and listen simultaneously.